Hello everyone, Camo here and welcome back to Thief. I know that was really, really bad. Really bad. Okay, so we are back now and we went back to the clock tower after our explosive escape from the tower. No cutscene? No cutscene mourning the death of Genevieve? Okay, so we're actually heading out of here now and I don't remember... <laughs> I don't remember where we're going. Go me. A hiding spot isn't much use if threats see you go there. Well, duh. How come there's no little dialogue thingy? No dialogue stuff. <gasps> are we finally having a revolution? Death These are Orion's people. Dogs. The revolution has begun. Time has come for the city to face the dawn. So long, black tops. Seems the Graven mob has had enough and is out to kill anyone who isn't one of them. That includes me. Best to avoid any confrontation. Oh, well that kind of sucks. Well, why would they come after me though? I mean, hasn't Orion... Hasn't Orion told him that I'm a good guy? Look out for Garrett, the dashing man that you can't see his face half the time. No? He hasn't told him? Gloom's taken so many already. Well, yeah, damn it. Well, that's just going to make this unnecessarily difficult because there's probably... You're one of the Graven, aren't you? Yeah. Hey, about. Why do you care? Go the freak away. After all. You're just some noob. I'm more terrified of the guards than you. I mean, what kind of weapon do you even have? You read the newspaper. They're saying the livestock cull worked. Worked for killing all the animals, I suppose. The That's definitely a hot topic when the world is in revolution. Talk about livestock. That's good. That's good. What is this? Oh, plaque. I'm gonna steal. Ugh. A fine piece. Oh! Wait, wait, wait! It didn't seem to do anything. Well... <laughs> Alright, sometimes this game confuses me. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. The taste of their own law tonight, brother. Oh god. The iron tyrant, a taste of his own progress. Hey, here we go. Can I, cl can I climb up this? No. Okay, so I guess this is just a little bit of a dead end, and I, I stole a freaking plaque. I'm not even proud of that. I mean, these some of these collectibles look downright nice, but that's a freaking plaque. What are you doing out here? Waiting for a storm that'll wash all this away. You guys are crazy. Okay, good. So this is still this is still the same. All right, so we're moving forward. Hold on, let me let me look at my objective. Meet Basso at the Siren's Rest. Okay, that's right. He, I remember him saying that when he went to escape, and I commented on it. So let's go meet Basso. Let's do this. When leading out from cover, you can quickly switch from one corner to another. Oh yeah, I did that when in, I did that like in the very beginning when I was with Aaron still. I still want to know what happened to her. I am your reinforcement. There's no one left. What do we do? We're caught. Wait, if they catch us out here. Bastards oh, are going to sheesh. share us a cart. They destroyed the keep. We held it as long as we could. Now pull yourself together. So, alright. So you guys decided to just relight this. Fine. Oh, wait. No. Oh. Well, well, look at this. I guess there's no... Oh, is that the same... He's going to walk up to him. He's going to... Oh. Well, I was going to say he's going to stare at him. Who are those guys walking down the, the hill? Balloon. Wait. Okay, so I guess these are just normal people. Ooh. What? Where, where, where? Oh, I guess maybe they heard me. Oh yeah, that happened last time I went through here, didn't it? Someone, somewhere, will see me. Oh boy. This is where I got seen last time. <laughs> hey, buddy. Don't mind me. Eh, whatever. They saw me for a split second, and I'm not part of the mission anyway, so I'm not worried about ghost or anything like that. I should have just ran through there to begin with. Save us all some time. Choke arrows can be used to knock out dogs and birds. Really? Oh, that's... That's kind of funny, but also messed up. I don't want to knock out a dog. I like dogs. I like dogs too much. I don't know... I can't tell what kind of person are you. Are you... 
Are you one of the Draven? What's happened to this place? I don't know what you are. Oh well, whatever. I'm not gonna knock him out. I'll leave him alone. Unless he makes things troublesome for me. Oh! That guy looks like a badass. That guard right there? Okay. I should be able to hop up and over. Oh, Jesus! How did that light me up so much? I've noticed that every time you climb over something, you get lit up crazily. Everywhere. There we go. Go, 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 go. Okay. Good. We made it. Oh, look at this guy. He's such a badass. He just he just pulled that arrow out of his hand, and now he's just going like a trooper. Okay, Doki. So where am I going now? Oh wow, way over there. Uh. So you're one of the douchebags that's taken over the town. I can tell by the fact that he's actually got weapons. And a torch. I'm going to take a guess that he's one of the Draven. Ah, balls. Don't walk this way. Don't, don't, oh crap. Oh, he is, he is very much walking this way. Ugh. Damn it! Oh, hold on. Give me just a moment here. All right, that, that's okay. No, don't worry about me. Nothing to see here. Wait, I've got it. You don't stink of sweat and piss. Hey, that's the same statement you gave last time, buddy. Are you guys still talking about getting with that lady? I mean, there are times that that's an exciting moment in every man's life, but come on. Really? I've been on the waiting list for two months. I mean, I waited five. Doing it, banging, is great and all. But come on. That perfume from a foreign country is different about you. Wait, I've got it. You don't stink of sweat and piss. That's what he literally just said. That's what the other guy just said. You guys aren't very original in your dialogue. You're clinging to me. Lucky bastard. <sighs> okay. I've been on her way for this for two months. Drop. No, no, Wait, stop. I've got Drop it. down. You don't stink of sweat and piss. <laughs> I just rolled with Ooh. Polly Adler, the sweetest smelling dock frock in the skin market. I guess her perfume's still clinging to me. Okay, you know what? I'm going to drop down on this side. I've been on her waiting list for two down. months. Good. I waited five, and she's worth it. I know a sailor who said Polly's importing. I can't tell anymore now. Aren't they different about you? Wait, I've got it. Okay, so they're glitched. They're glitching out. They're just saying the same thing over and over. Polly Adler, the sweetest smelling dog frock in the skin market. All right, come on out. You don't know where I am. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe it is down this. You'll never ah. guess what I saw in Tracy's attic crap, crap, yesterday. Crap, 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 crap. What are you doing up there? Playing a bit of How's Your Father with a Nightmaid. But listen, uh. she has a Montanesi painting. I doubt it's real. Come on. Away out of the city a thousand times over. Oh, I've been through here multiple times. This is where I got... Oh, yeah, I've really been through here multiple times. Night's going on forever. Yeah, it does seem like that sometimes, doesn't it? Trust me, being a thief in a video game... That's where the real stress is at about nighttime. Great. Hey, we had a couple of hiccups, but I made it. That's what matters. Did I see a shiny here? Oh, it's the reflection of the... There's like water on the wood. Well, shit. Half this episode is just going to be us running to Basso, not even talking to him. Uh-oh. I hope you're doing okay, buddy. I like Basso. <laughs> you look almost human, Basso. <laughs> Well, you can survive what they serve here, you can survive on anything. <sighs> How's the hand? Sore. Yeah. Like your pride, I'll bet. No hey? That shit bucket needs to get what's coming to him. I need a favor. Oh? You still have your boat? Oh, I'd get a room here if I were you. Find yourself a nice gal and bed down until this whole thing blows over. I need to do a little research. Oh, I have something to about Aaron. I'll be a penniless joke. The <laughs> worst kind. I need to get across to the Moir Asylum. Just let me know when you want to go. I'll be there. <sighs> Over here. I have something for you. 
would you have Apparently an outfit angry? like him is not terribly suspicious. Everyone just for the most part is ignoring me. I heard someone say something about having a deal for me, but I have things to do. I have purpose. Purpose. I have places to sail and to go. Alright, so let's do this. Now I gotta get to the boat. Oh. Oh, well that was easy. Here we go. Boat found. What is that, a rowboat? Okay, chapter five. Now, someone gave me a code for ah, this area. Ready to go. Oh, hiccups. Now I remember why I don't like boats. Well, I hate swimming a whole lot more, so get in. Now, I'll take the oars. You row about as well as I can dance. Sure. The exercise will do you some good. <laughs> Thanks to the general, that was a narrow escape from the keep. My hand is evidence of that. Still, finding the primal stone piece in the great safe was a surprise. So, what does Aaron have to do with Moira? Do you believe in ghosts? Huh? Spirits. You know, the dead coming back to haunt the living. Punish them. You think Aaron's haunting you? I don't know, perhaps. I remember a, a ritual. Some kind of an explosion. Aaron died. I'll never forget it. And everything else is... gone. Oh, come on, Garrett. I know you wouldn't have put that gal in harm's way. She'd have put herself there easy enough. There's an answer in here somewhere. I could feel it. This place has gone oddly quiet since there was a riot here. Some patients escaped. A few boats have come in, but nothing has come out. Garrett! I don't know what you expect to find in there, but be careful. Don't become a ghost yourself. I've been a ghost all my life. Not if I'm doing the let's play. I am everything but the ghost. It's been a long time since this island had a good reputation. Will I really find you here? See, now, Garrett is definitely willing to believe in all this stuff. I mean, he's seen it in the other Thief games. It's not... It's not any... Okay. So, I mean, it's not anything new to him. So we can actually run into some undead here. Uh-oh. I have a feeling I should be quiet. Ooh, it's a graveyard. Oh. Oh, well, I'm not getting... Oh, here we go. Let's guess ah. it. What? <laughs> uh, that's one small criticism I have. What is with these random grates placed on the walls? Come on. Garrett doesn't need that in order to jump over these things. And a golden... I haven't bought crap. I really haven't. I haven't bought in, like, anything. Now, I'm gonna... Okay. That was awfully ominous. What the hell was that? Okay. So, is that, like, a hint to just definitely come in the front door? Because that wasn't welcoming. What is with... <laughs> Oh, that's okay. That's at least, like, food. That makes more sense than finding all this golden crap everywhere. Hmm. Okay. Seems someone's expecting me. Yeah, that's about the same response I get. Oh, boy. Well, I'm stuck in this little room. I'm dead. Oh, peek hole. Old E. 
Oh, hey, there's someone. Oh! You shouldn't be here. <laughs> Is it the asylum that's haunting me? <laughs> oh, you dick. Oh, you dick. Okay. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and cut the episode here. I think that's a good time to go ahead and cut it. I'm not, that didn't like scare me out of the game. I've experienced worse, but I think we've been going on for a little while, so I think this is a good time. Holy crap! Alright, guys. So, thank you so much for watching the episode. I really do appreciate it. Look forward to the next one. We're actually here in the asylum now, so we could be expecting the undead. Alright, you guys. Thanks for watching. In the meantime, you take care.